People apparently occasionally order wedding dresses from here or even suits if they want to be really bling. But you have to have a lot of money to have a wedding dress and it's very heavy so you get a bit tired before the ceremony is over. I'm here with more platinum than I've ever seen in my life and there's a lump of platinum here of more than 13 kilos worth nearly 400,000 pounds and I can't lift it. And we're here at the Johnson Matthew Noble Metals processing plant where they turn this metal, they process it to make catalysts and it's amazing. I think platinum is really exciting, first of all because there is so little of it in the world, on our planet. And the reason is, or is believed, is that platinum forms an alloy very easily with iron and so much of the platinum that was in the original planet Earth when it's formed has gone down into the iron core in the middle of the planet. So what's left on the surface is very, very little, uh, but it is just enough to supply our needs. But as we go forward, we have more cars with more catalytic converters, as we go to the so-called hydrogen economy, where people want to burn hydrogen in car engines, it is platinum that is going to be the catalyst. And it's quite doubtful whether we have enough. Very soon, it may almost be worth collecting the dust from the roadside and using that as a source to get the platinum back that we have spewed out of the exhaust pipes of cars. I want to weigh the um, ingot just to see that it really is 13 kilos, but I'm not wearing protective shoes. So my Johnson Matthey host is going to carry it because he's got the right sort of shoes. So you can see I wasn't exaggerating, in fact I was being slightly modest that this is more than 13 kilos, so it's 13 kilos, 188 grams and 0.8 grams. So that's a bit extra in the cost. You can work it out for yourself how much it's worth today. So this metal is processed to make rods like this and this rod has just come off the machine, so it's still slightly warm because processing it turns mechanical energy into heat. And then this rod is processed to make thinner wire here. And this wire you, looks just like ordinary wire, but it's really heavy. I can hardly lift it. Oh, yeah. That wire is turned into really thin wire here. If I can find the end of the wire, you can see the wire goes to nearly as thin as my hair. And that in itself is pretty amazing. But it's the next stage that is extraordinary. They use machines for knitting or weaving these machines to make something like this. And this is the catalyst. This goes inside a column, a tower, which is this diameter. It's operating at medium pressure, 10 or 20 atmospheres pressure. And this is one sheet of the catalyst. And it really feels rather like plastic cloth, except it's a bit sharper. And it has been woven, you can see. This sheet goes across the tower. So you imagine a huge tower with the ammonia going down. And there are several sheets like this with different chemical composition so that they optimize the reaction. You get the best possible conversion. But there's, you can imagine this huge tower and the catalyst itself is really not very thick, perhaps this thickness. And it is just the speed of the gas going through that removes the heat from the reaction. And you can see it's got really quite a nice herringbone pattern rather nicer than my suit. You would make a nice suit, except it's a bit transparent, so you'd see yourself underneath it. So what's amazing is that there isn't very much metal here, but sheets like this can convert thousands of tons of chemicals. So it's a fantastically efficient catalyst. 
And it's thanks to catalysts like this that the fertilizer is made that is fertilizing the corn and the other wheat that you eat. So the only way that the earth can support the population that it does at the moment is thanks to catalysts like this. So you can see it's starting to melt over the top so it's on fire and then we'll just drop it into the flask and you can see that that sulfur is burning really intensely now with a really quite beautiful flame. We're in the vault, the bullion vault of the Bank of England and I'm really excited. I've never seen so much gold, in fact I've never seen so much of any element.